Indeed, blessed assurance, Jesus is ours because he has given us a beautiful and a bright day. Praise God, brothers and sisters. I am delighted and thankful for the works that the Lord has done for us. The whole night he has kept us safely and we are seeing yet another beautiful day. In Jesus' name I pray. My sister, my brother, my mother, my father, grandpa, grandparents, those all of you who are there, let us say God is good because his mercies endures forever. Today I will look at one of the songs or praises that David wrote. That is Psalm 27. And I shall read. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Father, we want to thank you for your word. As we are going to learn and teach and share, may the Holy Spirit guide us that we shall not go out to start the day but to lean and understand that Lord you are the one who is for us. Amen and amen. Today I want to look at David. David in his life God really regarded him as a man after his life. And David went through a lot of storms and a lot of uh, high times. We can remember when Saul wanted to kill David. And David kept on running and hiding from one place to another place. But the good thing that David had a friend, Jonathan, a, a son of King Saul, who could tell David everything about what his dad has said. But in Psalm 27, we see David coming out strongly and saying that the Lord is my light and my salvation. And today, I want you also, as you stand to go out, go out boldly and saying very loud that the Lord is your light and your salvation. And what is light? Light is very beautiful. Light makes us see things that we cannot see. I want to look at a house without a light, especially at night. When the powers go off, what happens? We run looking into our phones so that we can have a torch to lit. We are running looking at candles so that we can lit them. We are running trying to get something which can make the room brighter so that you can see. So that one alone tells us that light is very important. I remember when I was young, my dad used to take me home. So after eating at my grandparents' home, I would cross over through the maize plantation to go and sleep at my uncle's place. It was so dark that you could not see anything. But there are some insects. During at night, you see them lit when they are flying. And you can easily identify that there is something along the path because an insect with a light has passed. Or we were being told of stories of people who run at night with the lights. So you cannot see anything, but the only thing you can see a light. So that one tells you how powerful the light is, even in darkness. And when David realized that God is his light, he knew that even though he will walk, even though he can stumble, even though he can walk into an enemy, he will not fear because God is lighting his path. So as you go out, I want to tell you and encourage you that God has never changed. He remained the same yesterday, today, and forever he will be. So he remains to be our light. So speak it boldly. The Lord is my light and I shall not fear. And he went on and said that God is his salvation. Is your God your salvation? Have you acknowledged Christ as your personal savior? Do you want to come into salvation? In uh, Revelation 7, Tell us that the Lord is our salvation. We can hear the word. We can be preached to. 
we can read but it's only God who gives us salvation and when David realized that he knew where his help is coming from so he said God is my salvation he shall not fear anyone and he went on to say that the Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid and I want to look at the word stronghold in a very lay and simple way I want to divide it I want to divide it in terms of strong and I want to put it in terms of hold. So to hold is to have grabs of something that you don't want it to fall. For instance, when we are carrying little babies, we are told that, can you hold the child properly so that the child cannot fall down? I remember when we were told to carry our plates to the kitchen when we were young, mom would tell you, please, can you, carry, can you hold those plates in a way that you cannot break them? We have houses, we have corners, cornerstones, the pillars that are standing to make the house stand strong. So when we are regarding God as our stronghold, God has surrounded us, God has kept us clothed that we cannot fall because we know in him he is our stronghold. You know when a child is talking to his dad and the dad is saying, I am strong the child will feel so protected that when he's walking and he knows his dad is beside him, he will tell his friend, my dad is very strong, that if you play around with me, he will beat you. And God looked at God, a uh, soul. David looked at God as his stronghold. And brothers, as we are facing the day, I know there are so many things that we fear. There are so many things that we are afraid of. There are so many things that when we just think of them, fear comes in our life and we start crying. But I want to assure you as David, because he knew whom God was, David knew that God was his stronghold. He knew that God was his salvation. David knew that God was his power, was his defender. I remember when King Saul wanted to kill David. And David kept on running and hiding. Eh? And we were told there was a time that David could go as far as a place that only Jonathan could tell him about his dad. So you are there. It might not be a similar story of David, but there are issues that you might be going through. Because we live in a world that things never end. And the devil, when one obstacle is sorted out, he'll come up with another one. So we need to be ready, we need to be strong, we need to stand steady fast because we know God is our salvation. In times of uh, loneliness, it is only God who walks you. In the time when you feel that you are falling into the pit because God has assured us that he will hold us strongly, that we will not fall. We say that when the foundation of the Lord of the, the foundation of the Lord eh, is maybe broken, is shaken. Where does the righteous run to? We know our God is strong and cannot be compared to other gods. He never faileth us. He is not a man to lie. He is true to his word. And when he told the children of Israelites to go, and he was assuring Moses that I will be with you. I will fight for you. That the Egyptians that you are seeing you will see them no more because God is our stronghold. So as we are going out today to tend to our various activities, let us go out knowing that our God is the Lord that is always protective. He's a God that is always defending us. He's a God that when we are faced with situation, we will say like David that we are not afraid we shall not fear. Even if you walk in darkness, God is powerful. He is more than darkness. He is light. He penetrates even in the darkness. We have talked of a candle. When it is lit in a room which is very dark, you see the light overruns the darkness. And that is how God is in our life. That we should not tremble. We should not fear because he is light in us. 
So, we pray. Father, we want to thank you for your word. Because, Lord, we know you are our light. You are our salvation. We shall not be afraid. You are our stronghold. God, we shall not fear. Even though we walk through the valleys of darkness, you have told us that you are our shepherd. You shall walk us through. So as we are facing this day, your oh father, we want to remember those people who are sick, who think who think that they cannot make it. We want to assure them that, Lord, you are in them and you are a stronghold. You will deliver them from their sicknesses. Father, those who are walking in the valley of darkness, we want to pray that today, your Father, in the light that you are in Jehovah God, you will lead their light when they call unto thee. You will be the light of our path, that when we walk, Father, we will not stumble because you will be directing our path. We thank you and we bless you. And we will continue to say, indeed, blessed assurance, because you are our God. Thank you, brothers. Face the day with boldness and be strong in the Lord. Amen.